Hello! I'm very excited about this lesson. It's based on a phrase from Ryan Sensei that was intended for the Conversational Japanese series. However, I felt like it rated more in depth scrutiny. Let's hear a reading of it. Nihongo ga amari jozu de wanakute sumimasan. Moshi nanika shitsure ga areba. Sorewa watashi no nihongo no sei des. Nihongo ga amari jozu de wanakute sumimasan. Moshi nanika shitsure ga areba. それは私の日本語のせいです。日本語があまり上手ではなくてすみません。もし何か失礼があればそれは私の日本語のせいです。Now you can say the phrase, excuse me if I say something impolite, it's because my Japanese isn't very good. And this will come in useful. Until you're very skilled at the language, it's easy with Japanese to select the wrong level of formality and to not be as polite as you intended to be. Japanese people understand this and they are forgiving of us students. However, won't you look polite and savvy when you apologize for it in advance? Now we're going to go a step further and examine exactly what's happening grammatically in this phrase so that we can apply it to different situations. The subject of the first sentence is the speaker's Japanese. I believe to many beginners, ja is more familiar than dewa. If you add ja to nai, you have janai for the meaning not. Now, if we substitute in the more formal form of ja, dewa, we have dewa nai. This can't be used in the middle of a sentence though, so we need to change it to a sort of te form by adding kute. So we drop the final kana in dewa nai, the e represented by an i in ramaji, and we add the kute, and we have dewa na kute. The next sentence is an if then statement. It opens up with the word moshi. This is an optional word used in if statements. It ends in the verb aru, conjugated into its ba form. The ba form of a verb suggests the meaning if this occurs. So you take the final kana of aru, which is ru, and change it to re. Now you have are ba, are ba. So this expression means if something rude exists. The final part of this phrase starts out with the topic, sore. Sore refers to what was just said, if something rude exists. The last word before des is se. This suggests cause or fault. And the rest of this expression is just a series of possessive statements. My Japanese is the cause. If you master this formula, you'll be able to communicate so many things with it and just a little bit more study so you can learn how to conjugate an adjective as well as a verb like we did in this case and learn some other words because say suggests a negative connotation, blame, uh, a little bit more vocabulary in that area and you'll be able to communicate all different types of if-then statements. Imagine how versatile and how powerful that will be for your communication. Ranab video produced an elaboration video to this lesson. Please click your screen or the link in the description box to view it.